Well, are you two ladies ready for the death hole? Down we go. Tear from the frontier. A mysterious stranger threatens our way. Did you guys make an entire media about me? Oh, I'm flattered. Who the? Hey, McRitz, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. No sudden movements. This guy's crazy even by my standards. What are your standards for crazy? What does that mean? Do we get to have a chat unlike the others? Oh, that's a lot of deads. Floor's covered in deads. That's not... Uh, are you the one that's fucking everything up around here? Listen, this place is gonna melt. Can you chill? Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. Burning to death is one of the most painful ways to go. Just in case you needed a reason to get us out of this. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. You're only getting out of this alive if you play nice. Ooh, look at the courage on this one. Lay it on me, boss. Give me a taste of that fiery primal spirit. You wanna know how I got these scars? I'm here for some parts. Junlei sent me. That's right, sir. Just the parts. We'll be in and out in a jiff. You won't even know we were here. Tennyson just keeps feeding the furnace, don't she? We're still playing with her last sacrifice out back with the crew. What are you doing, that poor engineer? We were just sitting in a circle, sucking down exhaust fumes and toasting to the memory of our brain cells. Making this broken angel fly again. So can I grab that part then? You don't just ask a king for a favor when you're standing in his court. You bring tribute, sacrifices, prophecy, shit like that. Those parts are leaking deadly toxins. I'll just come back after you're dead. Under its skin, this ship is all poison and darkness. Lead bones, asbestos muscle. Maybe you're right. You've got the run of the kingdom. Up those stairs, you'll find the parts. My crew won't get in your way. There was something else. Lay it on me, boss. I'm good for it. Kind of want him as a crew member. <laughs> How did you end up back here? Ship got impounded. The crew and I racked up a debt while we were grounded. And my baby got sold to Sublight. Scrapped for parts. That's bureaucracy for you. Piracy with a smile. And a handshake sometimes. Sounds a lot like what would happen to me. Am I your dark reflection? Shit, must be getting old. Stay here too long, and the groundbreaker drains you like a fuel tank. How do I get him on my ship? <laughs> we seeing you. You can come and go in my little kingdom. Just try not to piss off any of the gestures. Might as well explore and talk to anyone I can and get what I can. But then I'll talk to him about that. Maybe I can claim the reward. Oh, he's dead. Y'all killed the engineers. This is just in this is inappropriate. But yeah, maybe I can uh, resolve this peacefully. Although maybe it's not worth it, considering what he's done to people. Live free, die free. Nothing else matters. A medical drone with a gun, obviously. In a disco Elysium, you mean, or? How are you smoking through that ma- Alright, fine. 
A lot of like, yeah. It's, I'll keep it down. That's true to life, isn't it? You go into your future, and it's still full of cigarettes. Greg gave me a taste of the good stuff. I've been tripping for days. Careful with that shit. You'll end up as crazy as he is. It takes crazy to live in this universe. Crazy cosmos. Crazy cosmos. Ah, got swollen tongue again. It's possible I've had too many mushrooms. I think that was a different voice. Your aura is like, it's like a disco ball caught in a black hole. <sighs> Live free, die free. Nothing else matters. If we get in a fight, there's actually a lot of you guys. Not that that's really been that much of a problem before. As long as I have a wall between you and me, I can pretty much just soak up whatever I want. Return fire with precision and headshots and slow motion and all that. Everyone get branded when they join McRed's crew. We got another complaint. People don't like worms in their shrooms. Aw, they're just filling the soil. Besides, they're my friends. Find a new friend. This worm fixation is screwing with her bottom line. Aww. They're growing drugs. And they've all got, like, chemistry, and they're having fun up here. Shame with all the murdering. You could just stop murdering people. Things could go a little better. I'd be less inclined to do a murder on you. Oh, look at them. There's the worm. Look like a grub. He's kind of cute. Junior Mycologist Lab. How do I keep fighting more games with mycologists in them? When I settled on Groundbreaker, I thought this would be a gateway to the stars. <clears throat> the beginning of my epic tale as a spacer. Now I grow shrooms for a bunch of outlaws. Not even for selling. They just eat the damn things by the handful. Some of the crew have been tripping for weeks. I suppose it could be worse. Heard of a sublight contractor who got dissolved in chemicals and flushed down waste treatment for stealing from Lilia. Now McRed. He's always happy to see me. Calls me his fungus lad. Update McRed just sent a man set a man on fire for having his laces undone. Shit, shit, shit. Maybe I need to be more careful about where I'm growing. I ought to find something that what calms him down. Time to experiment. Oh no. You went with McRed because he seemed like the reasonable one, and now you're like, got him so high on your mushrooms that he's actually like, tripping out and doing increasingly distressing things like murdering a man for his shoelaces being untied. Makes me almost wonder if McRed was more reasonable like, a week ago or something. Maybe we can bring him down a bit. They can still say funny things and be kind of compelling, but stop shooting people or lighting them on fire. For funsies. I really need those. Ooh! Hey, buddy. Cause you little guy. He's kinda cute. Like a shitty snake. Wait, <laughs> look at his back! It's like French bread. <laughs> you get that auto mech patch? Try to it up and run. I'm trying to think of a good name before I wake it up. Don't give it a name. What are you thinking? It hasn't got a heart? Not like us. It hasn't got a heart. What are you waking up? There's a, another robot down there. You one of us yet? Oh, yet. Yeah. You seem to think that that's a doable thing. Interesting. I wonder if you can use the scrap mechanicals to wipe them out by turning them against them. That's the kind of thing you would do with your, like, hacking skill in this kind of game. There is a lot of them. Maybe you- maybe you hack the mechanicals to help them out, and then you salvage the mechanicals afterwards to deal with your actual problem. When I look at you, all I see is light. Aw, thank you. Charmed. Petey? This thing's called Petey? Who's Petey? I have questions about Petey. 
if you're all right. And when did the boss have time to talk to you? Letty Dixon. You're the first person I've seen who talked their way past McRed. That may not sound like much, but take my word for it. Wow. What brings you to the back base? Dune Lay sent me down to collect the parts we need to fix the radiators. McRed got me all distracted sucking fumes and <laughs> talking about the cosmos. Just take some level head for the hangover. And maybe don't work on anything life support related for a while. I can't tell if you brought friends or if I'm still seeing things, so maybe I ought to lay off the fumes and head back to work. You're probably better off up at engineering than down here with the outlaws. I'll get back to my post. See you topside, stranger. Oh, he's, she's going right now. Are they gonna let her go? I guess she has to live if everything goes bad, but I probably should have asked her about the other thing first. Whoops. Certainly eventful around here. Hopefully I didn't do one of those things where I make a choice without understanding the ramifications of it in that time. Because it feels like it. It's so... cozy. You mean dirty. And shitty. You don't have to be polite, no one's even here. No one's here. with the teleportation system to see if I could trigger it because they definitely warp around here and there very common for characters to do that one of the trippy things about video games in general is that a lot of the time just whatever you're looking at just doesn't exist I mean whatever you're not looking at just basically doesn't exist until you turn back around to look at it again which leads to some funny moments but also a way of manning resources uh a way of making it so that you can kind of keep everything running by not having to load everything all the time. Place is falling apart. Can't spell groundbreaker without broken. Oh, wait. It's, it's really easy to spell that. You didn't really try that very well. Uh, it's possible I've had too many mushrooms. You might have found the limit. Oopsie. Nobody here? Gotta get those hacking items whenever I get the chance. Nope, all their computers are turned off around here. Don't mind me. You also like to make loud grunting noises, I take it. Did I make a mistake by setting them up here? I was able to peacefully retrieve things, or uh, resolve things. Now I can go, go retrieve the parts. Old machinery in the back base. Is that this guy? Is this what I'm looking for? Nope. I'm having more trouble than I'd like to admit at finding the old machinery. Is it in here? Having a little trouble finding the places I'm looking for lately. I don't know. Alright, wait. It's because you switched off the quest, huh? There we go. I thought I told it that before. Maybe not. Oh well. Wake up. There's no such thing as pizza. It's all open-faced pasta. There's no such thing as pizza. 
again, haven't you? Open face. Oh, there it is. What do you say we get out of here before we join whoever that was on the grill? We'll just get out of here. But I might come back later. <laughs> but I do have to deal with the bounty potentially. I don't have to, but I could. Bad hygiene. But for now, let's focus on making the ship not explode. Ta da! That's a really big stomach. That creature's like 50% stomach. This is Halcyon News. You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. I've got the parts for the radiators, what now? Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight manta pillar infestation. Oh, slight. Gotcha. To find slight? More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. You don't know me. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators, and here we are. What if I'm a huge coward? I got your parts, but why do I have to go down some maintenance shaft? If every repair was a one-woman job, I wouldn't need an engineering team. As it is, my staff is busy keeping the station from melting down. You can flip a switch for me, but you can't install these parts. Not quickly, at least. Not on the first try. Able, though, you've proven to be. You don't know how high my engineering skill is. <laughs> I'll make my way down there. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die. I'm gonna accidentally shoot the one really important part that you're not supposed to shoot. And everyone's gonna see. And then we're all gonna die. Well, guns out. Maybe you're a little crouching. There you go. How is my condition on this gun? 100%, gotcha. The, controls are in the, back of the, machinery shaft area. the fuck is that? Die. Hold out, guys. You're all right. You're all right. Ooh, bubbles. All right, well, I did a lot of damage to these guys. They must be vulnerable to this type or something. Or that was like my stealth shot. Who are you fighting and where? There you go. Or does red damage just mean that that's my type I'm doing? That was the color of the damage on the indicator, so maybe that's just what it looks like. Maybe I'm getting a little overhyped about the fact that it's red, thinking that it means something else. Like, good... the good job. <laughs> Archived logs and transmissions. Arrival confirmation. 2HHB Earth HQ transmitted via probe, arc, uh, archived at source. It is my honor to report that Groundbreaker has successfully arrived at the Lagrange point. Having released our cargo of prefab housing, settlers, and supplies at the intended colony worlds, may they prosper and expand. Now that stages one and two of the mission have been carried out, my family will take ownership of the groundbreaker of, as specified in our contract, keeping the ship an active duty as an independent trading post, repair stop, and cargo bay. I'd be remiss if I closed this transmission without sending my hopes and best wishes back to Earth. There's so much ahead of us, but we'll never forget what we left behind. Chief Guying. Stern reminder. Some very rich and unsavory elements among our colonial neighbors seem to have the wrong idea about why I flew us out here. It wasn't for a nine-figure blood money salary and a Spacer's Choice logo stamped on my ass. It wasn't a nickel and dime passing ships out of their last bit. 
Groundbreaker has no rule in the success or failure of Halcyon's corporate entities. Period. I negotiated that understanding and clearly outlined it in writing before I ever set a foot on this ship. If anyone wants to dispute or compromise our independence, they will answer to a Tennyson. We're a family operation. Even when the last Tennyson falls, Groundbreaker will remember us and defend its freedom accordingly. Chief Gaing. Let's just preempt this a little bit. There you go. You know, for funsies. There you both are. It looks hot in here. I guess these guys don't don't mind the heat for the most part, huh? I guess she was right that I could handle it. Thank you for my hacking items. More, please. Oh! Guess I walked a little close to that spot. Jesus Christ. It's a hell of a you're on fire animation. That sounds way worse than the manticores. What the f the bugs are easy. Robots are probably not. Nope. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, they're immediately noticing me. I'm just going to give up on that immediately. Kicka. 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 No needs mechanical security. You you guys have got You don't need mechanical security. You've got your your ladies, your Judies, your Punch and Judy shows. What are, what are they called? <laughs> You got your you got you got your crew members. They can help you out. You don't need robots. Every robot people ever program seems to always backfire on me. Seems like a fucking waste of time to me. Don't see a lot of them doing their job ever. Just turning on people and attacking them. You only need to figure out your cybersecurity first. Hi there. Don't mind me. There we go. There we go. I shot him in the little glowy bit. It was a bad time for him. Another one down. Oopsie. We clear? We clear. Things have definitely gone worse in the past. Thank you for putting a grating in the floor so I could just shoot down at him without having to track him down myself. I don't need stairs. This, this direction has loot. Warning, lithium fluid pressure at 23%. Solid state radiators at 122% capacity. PCM heat sinks at 98 per ca capacity. Ambient station temperature plus 8 degrees Celsius. Machinery shaft temperature plus 29 degrees Celsius. Logs. Cobbled together. The staff is getting restless. Workaround and half-cocked solutions are all we've got to mend Groundbreaker's bones. In many cases, we can't revive one system without cannibalizing another. Grandma lived with that reality, and so will I. I can rally our spirits, but what happens when I'm not around? Groundbreaker's real test will be seeing if our independence outlasts me. I'll take that bet. 
Old plans, new problems. Found some of Chief, Chief Guying's old schematics. Groundbreaker must have taken a beating during the crossing, because she spent half her career patching it up. Lots of corners cut when they put this place back together. Among her papers, I found the layout of a hangar that doesn't match any of my docks. Something that might have gotten sealed off along the way, like blood cells isolating an infection. I have to put sentiment down in, in print, but... I hate to put sentiment down in print, but every time I open a panel or find some workaround in the guts of this old bird, it's like I can feel you reaching out to me from the past, Grandma. Cycling. Reminder, non-expendable personnel must exit maintenance shaft before activating the cycling protocol. Cycling. Successful. You bet you do. So are the robots then attacking me, or are they still doing the whole thing where they attack me all the time? Oh, oh yeah, it's one of those classic Skyrim or Bethesda dungeons where at the end you open a door and you're back where you started. There's always conveniently a door that connects directly from the entrance to exactly where you're trying to get to, but there's always a bar stopping you from just taking it. One-way door. This door does not open from this side. Well, save the entire ship, no biggie. I guess another faction of people is just gonna have to deal with being a big fan of, my, of me again. Okay, I got turned around. <laughs> right, this is where we came in. Ah! It'll slowly recover. This is where I meant to go. How did I go somewhere else? Whatever. I turned around. It happens. Oh! News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. And now for a special word from Chairman Rockwell. Greetings, hard-working citizens of Halcyon. In these profitable times, we need only look to one another to find examples of honest labor and earnest work ethic. But there are those who cheat and swindle their way through life. <gasps> It breaks my heart to see the fruits of your labor stolen by these vagabonds. One such man is Phineas Wells. The board unanimously decided that in the interests of protecting our best assets, that's you, we are substantially raising the reward for his arrest. If you have any information regarding his whereabouts, do your civic duty and come forward. Until then, my friends, keep working and we'll keep paying you. Farewell. This has been an official message from our hard-working chairman. Such an honor for all of our listeners. Man. This has been Halcyon News. With how desperately they target Wells, he must be good people. The lighting looks real different every time I look at this character. His skin tone looks different every time, like in in world versus in here versus my, my thumbnail, which was the screenshot of the character creator screen. He just looks like a different person each time. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. A protagonist. A prota a prota a prota a protagonist. You know how you got like the ear of the leader of an entire faction that specifically isn't the board? Can we like, you know, ask about our objective by any chance? 
Yo, you got this specific chemical by any chance? No reason. You know, you have this entire ship. It might be... It might be the time to ask. Alright, well... Pride. Reputation, groundbreaker, positive. Not amazingly, though. Save an entire ship and you still pretty much cap out. Man, Spacer's choice is really seen as secondary, huh? Like the groundbreakers up here. It's really funny how much Spacer's choice likes me, considering what I did to them. People just can't help but like me. That's just the power of somebody that has my charismatic talents. I'm on my way to leveling up again. You know. What the f- have Oh, there she goes again. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm just gonna have to watch the replay to see what's going on with her limbs, but nope, she's losing her goddamn mind. Oh my god. <laughs> the fuck? You aiming to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. And no, Ellie, that offer does not extend to you broadcasting another of your crude jokes. Hey, that's a real planet. And no one's seen it in a long time. Damn it, Ellie, I don't have time for your shenanigans. Anyway, like I was saying, you aiming to send a message, you better be quick. You're making a Uranus joke or a Uranus joke? Is that what you do for Groundbreaker? Relay messages? Well, yeah. The comm center routes all messages within, to, and from the Groundbreaker. We also switchboard most of the message traffic throughout the Halcyon system. Of course, we're about to go dead, so I may be reappropriated to Architect Knows Where doing Law Knows What soon enough. Listen to my completely organic and definitely not clunky and awkward slang. I am a sci-fi character. We always do this for some reason. Why are you about to lose calm capabilities? Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The events forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose signal to the station. That signal's part of how Groundbreaker stays autonomous and independent. Much as I'd love to hear fewer corporate jingles, this would be bad. We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. What? I just saved you guys and you're about to lose autonomy anyway? That's not good. Sounds like it's time to get that auxiliary station back online. Yeah, I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junlei. Um, the chief. I can check out the relay. No need for an official sign-off in that case. I should say no, but why not? Maybe you can figure out why it's offline. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky or I'll get my approval in time. Hope you don't mind if I borrow that manual when you're done with it, Captain. I could do with some leisure reading. Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the relay's backup data. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? You just let messages from Earth sit in memory on an orbital relay? It's not like they're in high demand. Most tend to be adverts on new products, meaning only folks in Byzantium can afford them. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. Okay, there's there's been enough references to, Byz to Byzantium that it has to be a real place and not just like a med like a farm where dead pets live, aka dead workers. But I liked that theory when I when I first heard about it. <laughs> it's amusing to think about the idea that like they had like this farm that they send off people people off to to quote unquote retire. Because this universe doesn't seem like it benefits from retirees very much, so they'd probably just put them into the soil and grind them up for parts. I'm kind of willing to help this place in general, just because it's the... It's one of the closest things to an opponent we have for the board, and the board is awful, so... Let's make sure this place is still functioning. 
until I meet the Iconoclasts, which is apparently the other people that the board's not so happy with. There's a bounty board where I could get some money to play to pay Gladys, otherwise I can look at it into a distress signal on Terra 2. I need to get this signal to Stellar Bay. There's a science weapon on Groundbreaker. Okay. Let's go. We should probably go to Gladys again. She seems like she has information on some of our other quests, besides just the main one. Gracious. I was just sitting down for tea. Want a charming copper kettle off that girl who runs the pub? She's a fierce arm wrestler, but she's no match for your pal Gladys. Either at arm wrestling, huh? St Stimulotion? Oh, that doesn't... <laughs> what the fuck? Why do you do this much damage? <laughs> what do you mean you do 660 DPS? What the fuck? Why? Why are you so strong? Battered Mart at Datapad. An old data pad once used by Groundbreaker's Mart at security forces from the accumulated dust and grime, this hasn't been accessed in over a decade. Down on the luck, smugglers will often, often purchase old data pads in the hope of finding clues to a forgotten cache of goods they can sell. Well, I'm curious. The old data pad contains incident reports from various Mart at security pro, uh, patrols. Most are details of simple finds and dust-ups between crews of wildcat, freighters, and corporate haulers. Two entries have been marked for later review. August 7th, 2344. Responded to a code idiot, <laughs> ID10T, at the Lost Hope. Vera asked us to bounce some back bay rat that got himself soaked in Spectrum Red. Drunken fool got off and into a scuffle with one of Engineer Tennyson's people. We tossed the rung leech back down to the bay. This asshole fought us the entire way, telling us we'd be sorry once he controlled the hammer's power. If this is some new hammersmith marketing stunt, I'm complaining to Santina. To Sanita. October 25th, 2344. Had another run-in with the rung leech from Lost Hope. Don't know about... I don't know how the uppity uh, piker crawled out of the back bays without us noticing. Locked himself in the repair bay off docking slip 13 and refused to come out. Kept raving about the weapon's chaotic beauty or some shit. While well, we were trying to talk, uh, talk him out. Had to break off when our, secure, uh, when our shift ended. Whole heads gotta come out eventually. Docking slip 13. I wonder if he's still in there. He might still be in there. Hephaestus Mining Archive Cartridge. This data cartridge contains the public records of Hephaestus Mining Outposts on Cilia. It can be viewed using the Captain's Terminal on the Unreliable. Like accounting figures, uh, most companies keep two sets of data records, public and private. Wildcat miners often purchase the public records of failed mining outposts, hoping to uncover details on remaining ore veins that are too small for a corporation to consider profitable. Those do sound interesting. And the rest of this sounds like mostly whatever. Why is that so damaging? <clears throat> it's a six shooter. Literally. Like it six, shoots six times. Ha. Huh. Basically never got shot, so it's like a huge waste to repair these other items. Yeah, 
Okay, can we get some better sorting? There we go. That's a lot of shotgun you got there. Probably not going to need the other one right now. Shrink ray doesn't sell for that much as it turns out. That'll buy me a little time weight-wise. Hey, Ellie. You a bit of a bit of a pistol jockey? Engineering plus 15, perception minus one. Hmm. It strikes me as lore friendly. <laughs> Blue pestiment, uh, vestments. Dialogue. Only 10 armor, though. Science weapon on Groundbreaker. So I think the science weapon's the hammer. Gotcha. There's a few things to go back to on my ship. Yep. Most of our things are taking me off of here. Most of them. How's my money doing? Not great, right? Uh, it's up here. F five grand. If you're here for this week's magazine club meeting, you're a touch late. I want to talk about that opportunity you mentioned. Yes, dearie? What do you want me to do again? Take that darling ship of yours down to Roseway, where that distress signal I told you about came from and ferret out some tasty corporate secrets for old Gladys. Shouldn't be too tough for a fellow like you, I'd think. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Yeah, so you're the strong bottleneck on the main story for me. And unlike other character, I gen genuinely do have a, a roadblock involving how much you want to charge. So that's gonna have to wait for later. But before long, we'll be visiting that location. So I guess McRed is all that's left to do on this ship, mostly. Everything else is pointing elsewhere. Let's just clean up one last detail. McRed's not going to be happy when he finds out what happens next. Maybe I can still... Maybe it's still open to the idea of me using the other thing, though. Because there was the idea that something besides his death can still verify the... The, uh... Bounty. Neighbor from above. What brings you to my little moonlight kingdom? There's a bounty on your head. I want to claim the reward. Listen to the fire of those convictions. This one's hungry for justice. Alive or dead. Rare or medium. What's it gonna be? How do you want me cooked, bounty hunter? No need for violence. Just give me your lighter and the bounty disappears. My flame? Shit. Little flick here got me started on the pyro path. Fine. He's yours. Give him a good home. Work smarter, not harder. Don't worry, Mr. McRed. We'll treat Mr. Flick extra nice on account of he's your friend. I'll miss my baby Pyro, but it beats losing my head. This court needs its king, and I'm one of a kind. Wait, the engraving on here, does this say Sanita on it? Keen eyes you got there. Sanita gave me this lighter. We had a carnal understanding a few years back. 
And she wanted me to have something to remember her by. He looks like the Duke of Gravity, which is really tripping me out. There was something else. Lay it on me, boss. I'm good for it. we are seeing you. He's so charming. Can you please stop killing people? Just don't do that ag again by any chance. Ah. This is gonna get me in trouble later, isn't it? We had a carnal understanding a few years back. He looks so much like the Duke of Gravity. Down to the mutton chops and the goggles and the mohawk. And that was my favorite character in Rock Band. Maybe I got a soft spot. Sunita. Was it Sunita that worked security? Y'all have a grudge that I should know about? Yeah, you do. That is you. How goes the hunt? I've been ruminating on it, and I decided if you ain't killed McRed yet, I want you to hurt him a little before you do. Nothing excessive, mind you, but the scoundrel deserves a light beating at least before he kicks off. Does this have anything to do with your carnal understanding? He tell you that, did he? I might have kicked his ass from one end of the groundbreaker to the other a few years back. Whatever he reads into that is his business. Yep, Captain McRed is, uh, completely dead. Here's his lucky lighter as proof. Here's the bounty payout. Nice work down there. With any luck, we can hire more sharp-eyed bounty hunters like you in the future. I'm gonna get in trouble later, aren't I? Ah. Nice little bit of progress here and there. And that caps me out on most of my skills at 50. I'd like to increase a few other ones while we're at it. Minus 50% tinkering cost. Maybe we should go for that for now. Oh, you have to highlight the specific thing you want to do with that. There we go. Soon. Ali Ali Toxin Free! That's funny. That's a funny name for a thing you got there. Do, 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 do. This is Halcyon nope. Done with you. Too many updates. How's my rep doing? Are they going to find out about that and get back at me with that? Or are they just... It went up. We were at 51 before, right? Yeah. Is he still here? One of them interstellar jobs. I don't think I trust that. Is that him relaxing over here? Nope. Jay Nelson. Did he sneak on my ship by any chance? Hey there! Got word on the wireless. Your flag's cleared. You're free to go. Hope you enjoyed your time on Groundbreaker, the last free port of call in all the colony. Is that a real slogan? Made it up on the spot. Pretty good, right? Maybe don't let us hear the air quotes. Well, I thought it was neat. I'm still working on it. Oh. Oh, well, good luck with your board problems. We don't need luck. We got June Lay. Now that's a slogan. Wheeler's gonna love it. <laughs> We don't need luck. We've, need, we've got you and Lei. It's a better slogan than all the other slogans people have got. Like, it's not the best choice. Oh, there he is. Hey, I thought, you got a second? I honestly thought you were going to break in or something. And I was just going to find you on board, like, one planet later. 
Fancy running into you again. Don't mind me. It's just admiring your ship from up close. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine-looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. Really? There's not that many crew members. You kind of seem like a monotonous addition to the rest of the crew. What's missing? Oh, aliens. Aliens are missing. Because when it's, when it's just Fallout, I'm like, yeah, a bunch of people, whatever. Maybe one super mutant, or and a dog, and a robot. Actually, that is still more variety than we've had so far, because there's a super mutant and a dog. But once we're in space, and you give me a Mass Effect character selection screen, I'm totally expecting aliens, but I've realized, like, that's not really... That's not what this universe is going to have, I don't think. So, that's why it feels like my... My party's a little samey, and blending together a little bit, as I keep expecting other races just to pop in, or other species, I mean. Uh, yeah, that, that's not even just a... That's not even just a, ma a Mass Effect thing, or a space thing, it's a... It's an RPG thing, really. Uh, yeah. Pillars of Eternity, Knights of the Old Republic, and so on. Pretty much anything short of like a grounded, single city place like Disco Elysium, I kind of inherently expect to have like a blue person or someone with tentacles or something show up at some point. Uh, I'm only, it's only just now registering to me like, that I'm like, oh, this is gonna be my crew. Right. There's not gonna be any Krogans in this game. You're pretty eager to throw in with somebody you barely know. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. If you're trying to convince me to hire you, you're going about it all wrong. Oh, okay. Well, uh, can you give me a couple of pointers? Don't beg. Tell me why I need you on my crew. Hey, that's good advice. I like the way you think, boss. Besides, not like there's a line of folks standing around hoping to get on your ship. I'm persistent, I'm eager, and I'm showing initiative. What else do you want on your crew? Can you do anything? <laughs> Haven't made up my mind about you. How about an interview? Sure, an interview. That sounds fair. I mean, first time for everything, right? Ask me anything you like. What's the value of pie? Uh, it's delicious. <laughs> Mock apple pie and a triple kale crust? Maybe with a little cream on top? Classic. You any good in a fight? Are you kidding? I love a good fight. One time, I took an autoloader's head clean off its servos with one swing of a tossball stick. You can count on me in a scrap, boss. That's a promise. What's your biggest flaw? I die a little inside asking this question. Foreman told me my biggest problem was that I didn't take orders. I told him my problem is not with authority, it's with jackasses. So yeah, I guess my biggest flaw is that I don't suffer idiots. Hope that's not a deal breaker. Oh no, it's Andrew. Perfect, you're hired. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not gonna regret this. We'll see you in the ship, Felix. I'll just gather my personals and meet you on board. This is gonna be great. Well, this'll be interesting, huh? Picked up two new crew members per planet. Or, not really a planet, but... One planet, two new people. One ship, two new people. We're gonna be capping out pretty soon. Especially since one of them seems to already be on the ship, which is Sam. So that's gonna be pretty much everybody. Can I talk to you? Is there more dialogue with you? Something on your mind? Now that you're in a party member, now that you're in my party. If we're going to work together, I'd like to know more about you. I'm a surgeon by training and a pirate by inclination. Not much else to know, Captain. I like long walks on the promenade and the smell of Spacer's Corona. I make a mean zero-G cocktail and I've got a meaner right hook. Do you have much experience contracting out with other captains? Sure do. Some of it was even legal. Damn. You weren't joking about being a pirate. 
What gave it away? It's the hair, right? Or maybe the ammo belt? I had it custom made. <laughs> That's really funny. The idea you ever like, I, I, I custom made this like Star Wars Chewbacca belt just so you know I'm a pirate. That's all about the costume. Wait, you want to look like a pirate? Gotta advertise your business somehow. I've done all types of work with all kinds of crews. If there's one thing you ought to know about me, it's that I won't tell you your business. Your ship, your way. As long as you know, I've never been much of a rule follower. Makes two of us, Captain. What's a zero-G cocktail? It's a mix of whatever you've got on hand. Usually zero-G brew with some Spectrum vodka if you're lucky. Purple berry shake if you're not. So you never know what you're getting. Exactly. That's what makes them fun. Inventive. I like it. I'll make you one sometime. If you don't enjoy it, I'll make a few more until you do. That's an, that's a running gag with alcohol. I was hoping to know something more personal about you. Well, my blood type is AB positive. Too personal. I'm a Leo, and I despise Space Hospital. Never mind what anyone else tries to tell you. That about covers it. Okay. Uh, where are you from? How'd you get in this line of work? Aw, oh, come on. That stuff's boring. It's not. You're deflecting. Look, the thing I've learned about living in close quarters is that you've got to give people room to breathe. I'm all for making a few bits together and having fun doing it, but let's keep a little professional distance. All right, then. Back to business. No complaints here. And on we go.